Hi, today I made some vegan kebabs and I want to show you how to make them. You will need red lentils, breadcrumbs, fresh parsley, some veggies, carrots, onions, potatoes, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, cumin, cayenne pepper, ground masala, red cabbage and flax seeds which we'll use to make our flaxseed egg. I soak the lentils first for, an up, for about an hour and while the lentils were soaking I shredded my veggies including onion. I squeeze out the liquid as much as possible and I cooked it with um, couple tablespoons of oil and half a teaspoon of salt and just cooked it for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's cooked through and pale. At the end I added garlic and ginger and this is how it looks when they're cooked, nice cooked down veggie mixture. After I drain the lentils, I dry them really well. This is a step you do not want to miss. You have to dry them really well because if you don't, they will stick to food processor and they will not process. So just a handful of parsley and you want to see smaller pieces, bigger pieces, about 10 to 12 seconds. But don't go too far, you don't want them completely ground, just kind of broken down in pieces. So I took my veggie mixture and the lentil mixture. I added um, flaxseed egg, which is two tablespoons of water and ground flax seeds. My spices, salt, cayenne pepper, cumin, ground masala, and lastly, half a cup of breadcrumbs. You can use gluten-free breadcrumbs as well or any bread breadcrumbs you like. I even seen some cauliflower breadcrumbs, so whichever you like, prefer or you have at home. This is how the mixture look like when it comes together. And with one eighth of a measurement, cup measurement, I make little balls and then I form kebabs. And after I form the kebabs, I will flatten them. You should make around 18 18 kebabs or so. So this is how it looks like and now I'm going to flatten them. When I first make them um, I did not flatten them, I just cooked them like that and I didn't find that they cooked through really well. So then I thought well if I flatten them they cook nicely and they'll just look like a little kebab. So I started doing that so now I'm doing a little flattening at the end. So this is how they look like ready to go into a little bit of oil. I have not tried air frying them. I will try that but just a little bit of oil and maybe a minute or so on each side you flip them and they look nice and golden. This is how they look when they're flipped. They're gonna be nice and crunchy around those little pieces and bits and pieces of lentils. So this is how they look inside. They're just delicious. Today we had them with mashed potatoes and my green beans and uh, some people in my family like them with ketchup, some people like it with ranch dressing, so I make my homemade ranch dressing and I will show you that a little later. And this is really versatile recipe, they freeze amazingly, they freeze so well. Just take them out of the freezer one minute in the microwave and you can make quick wraps with microgreens, my, veg, my kebabs, tomatoes, avocados, a little bit of vegan cheese and my homemade ranch dressing. This is how I make my dressing, just a little bit of vegan mayonnaise. There's really not no exact measurements, just some mayonnaise, very little apple cider vinegar, maybe half a teaspoon, that's all you need, and plant-based, unsweetened, unflavored milk, and a little bit of um, garlic powder. If you want to make make a dressing, you put a little bit more milk. If you're using uh, making a ranch dip, you use a little bit of less milk, so you make it a little thicker. It's to your liking, really. I hope you like this recipe. Please subscribe and like, and I hope to see you in my next video.